Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Sheltered 2, where last time we collected lots of water, we built a sink and we welcomed Ronald to the bunker and there he is there, just you know, staring at a wall like you do. So yes, everybody say hi to Ronald, hi Ronald, and Ronald's arrival means that the keepers of the tea are now back up to six members, which is wonderful. And I think today, let's begin where we left off last time, with the possibility of building ourselves a microwave, because a microwave would give us access to tier 3 foods, which can't be a bad thing. But yes, remind me game, what exactly do we need to build the microwave? Because it required fancy circuit boards and posh wires and some of the bits and bobs that I can't quite recall now. Also, do we want Ronald actually building that? No, we do not. I think if we want anybody to build as a microwave, it's going to be Barbara. Because I imagine, what's Barbara's intelligence now? It's up to 8. Barbara is very, very brainy and therefore she's very good at building stuff. So, okay, let's get you to do that. Now, what are you doing right now? You are scanning for traders using the radio transmitter. Do you know what? I think there is already a trader outside. I think we have done business with them already. So do you know what, Barbara? It's fine. It's fine. I would rather get the microwave in than you spend your time scanning for traders. So hang on a second. Don't do that anymore. And then let's go over to here and have a look at exactly what we need to get a microwave. So, ah, yes, I remember. Right. So we need two circuit boards, five wires, two hinges, and one extra bit of glass, but they all need to be kind of, you know, two star things. So some really, really good wiring and some very, very high quality bits of broken glass. Okay. Okay. So let's go and do this in little bits and pieces because I will forget all that kind of stuff. So Barbara, how about two circuit boards and two hinges? And I think Barbara, you are very good at making stuff. So hopefully when you do make these things, they are going to be of a two star quality. So here we go. Two lots of wiring, that's going to be good, and two, two no, hang on, was it wiring or was it, hang on, we wanted hinges, definitely, we needed hinges, um, oh, we haven't got enough nails to make any more hinges, okay, right, hang on, make some nails, make, I don't know, three lots of nails, then make another, I oh, know, we can't make any more hinges right now, hang on a second, right, go and do that first, there we go, right, so you go and do that, so crafting, crafting is happening, and there we go, right, all that's done, go back to here, Make another hinge, please. That's all very good. And then, yes, circuit boards. We need silicon, transistors, and wiring, but we do have all those. So, okay, make a couple of those as well. This is all very good. So, hopefully, Barbara can get all this sorted, and I hope we've got the right amount of things now. So, here we go. So, you do some crafting. Pause time for a second. Tier three, microwave. There we go. There we go. We have the two two-star circuit boards we need. We've got the two fancy hinges. So now we need three lots of fancy wiring and then one lot of broken glass, but really good high quality broken glass. I think we make that from sand. So yeah, okay. So do that please. And then it's just three lots of wiring. So here we go. This is very exciting because if we can get tier three foods, that's got to be very good. Right. Has that been of sufficient quality? Yes. Oh, Barbara, you are very, very good. Okay, let's get ourselves a fancy microwave set up. This is going to be very good. Now, we did have a plan to put it over here, didn't we? To put it over in the sort of food room because we might as well put it in there. However, we're going to struggle right now because there's no room in there. So hang on, rearrange the shelter ever so slightly. Can that fit down there? Yes, it can. Move that over, move that over. And there we go. Right, now, Barbara, commence building of things. Let's get a microwave in and then we can see what we can have for tier three foods. This is going to be very interesting. So here we go. You just build yourself a microwave. I wouldn't have a clue. Barbara is so very clever. I would not have the faintest idea how to build a microwave. I couldn't even, I don't know, I couldn't even make the plug, let alone a working microwave. And look, it, it looks like a microwave. She's used bits of broken glass and some wiring that she made over here and I know bits of plastic that came from a drinks bottle to make a proper actual microwave. I mean, that's amazing. Well done. Well done, Barbara. I applaud your resourcefulness. So here we go. Let's have a little look. What can we now make on tier three foods? Oh, oh, this is exciting. So we can make chili. We can make chili con carne. Okay, that's good. So bit of meat, some tomatoes, onions and rice. We can make ourselves a cottage pie. Oh, that sounds wonderful. That sounds like the thing you would have with your tea. Or we could make a curry. Oh, this is very exciting. So spinach, rice, onion, garlic, and meat. I mean, of all the ones we're most likely to make, I would have thought a cottage pie because we haven't got rice, but we have got a lot of potatoes. We've got potatoes, we've got peas. Okay, so we need carrots, onions, and meat. 
I mean, I think, I think, hang on, let's find a person. Where, where's, um, where's Ronald? There he is. Um, Ronald, I think I heard, yeah, you can have this somewhat unpleasant task of harvesting those traps because I do think I heard them go. But yeah, we've got two lots of, uh, two lots of meat to come out of those. Um, do we want to plant anything? Ah, tomatoes are going in there, but they're not growing right now because the temperature's a little bit, oh, it's a little bit chilly. I suppose it is quarter past five in the morning. And there's nothing in there and nothing in there. Okay, hang on a second, hang on. What did we need again for the uh, cottage pie? Carrots and onions. Okay, do we have carrot seeds? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. They grow in temperatures between 15 and 21. Now that makes me think that maybe, maybe we should put the carrots down here because that room is currently 18 degrees. It's perfect. Okay, Ronald, when you've done that, go down here and pop some... Oh, okay. We can't put... Why can't we put carrots in there? Um, oh, do they need a greenhouse? The carrots might need a greenhouse. Yeah, some things need planters and some things I think need a greenhouse. Um, okay, okay. Can we craft a greenhouse? Can we make one of those? Because it's down here, isn't it? We need... Um, oh, we need loads. We need loads of stuff to make a large greenhouse. How about a regular greenhouse? Where is a fairly small greenhouse? Is it on this here? There it is. Um, we need six pipes. Oh my goodness me. Capable of growing seeds, which need to be grown outdoors. Oh, so they have to go outside. Are they not things we can put inside? Okay, never mind, never mind. Do you know what? It's all fine. Let's go up here then. So, Ronald, when you've done that, um, put the carrots in. And then do we have do we have onion seeds? I think we do grows in temperatures between 12 and 20 foot. Do you know what? Pop them in as well. And let's see if at some point in the near future we can make cottage pie, because that would be fantastic. Okay, right, I'm very happy with how things are going so far. And that's really good. I'm really happy we have that microwave in. And we have, you know, the skills required to actually get that thing constructed. That is three lots of meat. That is very good. Good job, Ronald. And that's three lots of meat and some bone and some animal fat and another bone as well. Crikey's. <laughs> Hang on, we've got three, four bones off that. Well done, well done. And some planting, and some planting. How are they looking? Uh, the soil condition is moist of the tomatoes. Our water is okay. I'm a little bit, little bit hesitant to put water on them right now, but they're going to need it at some point. Um, do you know what? It's fine. When they get dry, we'll go and put some water on them. We won't do it right now because that might be bad. And that bed is looking a bit rickety, Sharon. Hang on, I might have to wake you up momentarily, sorry. And repair the bed and then have a sleep, please. Otherwise it might fall apart whilst you're on it. And that would, you know, that would ruin, that would ruin whatever dream you are having. But there we go, right. So is, um, is uh, Chappie on the way back in? Is Ronald on the way back down? Yes, he is. I think he's gonna go get some tea. I think, is he having some tea? No, he's gonna stand and look at a punch bag. No, there we go, there we go. He is getting a lovely, lovely, refreshing drink of tea. Okay, right, so things are looking good. They are having, okay, it's less good over here because, um, yeah, Chris and Will are having an argument about films or cinema or something. I don't know, but they are not in agreement. But yeah, it was a, it was a happy argument, I think. Or was it Betty? It might have been Betty and Will, but I think yeah, they agreed to disagree sort of thing. Betty, could you just, um, could you fix that up, please? Because that thing is looking a little bit worse for wear. That's looking a little bit beat up right now. Okay, so Betty is on that. And Barbara, do you need to go fixing anything up on the surface? Because you're very good at that. Okay, how about you go and repair the things on this side? Because that would be handy. And then somebody else who can go up here. Um, do you know Betty? Betty's good at repairing things. She's quite brainy. You go and repair that. And that. And that. And that. And there is a floodlight over there. Somewhere there we go. So... Go and repair that as well. There we go. So people are, you know, getting orders and such like. And, um, right, where is Chris? So I need to check something. Oh, Chris has got a skill. Chris has a skill in, what have you got a skill in? You've got two charisma points. Oh, this is wonderful. Right, yeah, get that. Get Mission of Mercy. If traveling alone or with other characters who have this skill, they're not going to be attacked by other factions. Yes, please. Absolutely, definitely, 100% get that. And then it's a case of picking which one of these is the best 
for Chris. Okay, right, hang on, let's have a quick look. Oh, of course it's this skill here. This is why I sort of clicked on Chris because I wanted to get this skill increased anyway. So there we go, this is absolutely perfect. So production manager, he's got level one, but I think let's get that up to level two, which means that when he goes over to those production locations on the map, like the reservoir thing that we've now got under our control, he actually generates things 20% faster if we upgrade it, which we just have, right, there we go. That is very good. And that's gonna come in very handy because I mean, we have 58 water right now, which is okay. It's not brilliant, but it's okay. But we do have a sunny day ahead of us today, then a sandstorm the day after, and then a sunny day after that, because you know, it's summertime and that's what happens in the summertime. It's hot and sunny and warm and such. So that is gonna, that water's gonna come down. The water is going to come down. We're not going to have enough tea to drink and it's all going to be very sad indeed. So I think at some point, Chris is going to have to head back out with some of the people to that water thing and work it a bit to get some more water for us because I think we're not going to survive otherwise. So Chris, you get ready to do that perhaps. Yeah, we've got, you need some food, you need some tea and you need a wash as well. He's going to have to, he's going to have to use water in order to go out and get us some water. Um, okay, no, that's all fine. We do have to do that. It's very, very important. And of course, it's time to pick up our items from the recycler and look at that. That is wonderful stuff to behold. I mean, it's all one sort of star stuff, but that's okay. That's okay. I mean, the one star metal shavings, they're very good because then we can turn them into sheets of metal and it's all wonderful. So take everything. How is storage looking? We're not even at half sort of for half capacity. So that is absolutely fine. So, okay, confirm that. That's very good. Right, Barbara, do we need to do some repairing of equipment? Yes, we do. That bag there has completely and utterly fallen apart. So go and repair that, please. That would be wonderful. Um, oh no, hang on, hang on. What do we need to repair that? Two leather to repair the camouflage. I think we just get the bag done for now. Just repair that bag, that's gonna be handy. I think all the other stuff is okay. All the other stuff is fine. Um, Barbara, oh, I've given her loads of stuff to do. I thought, hang on, where is she going? Barbara has heat exhaustion. Betty has heat exhaustion. It's only 27 degrees up there. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, yeah, I'm from the UK and 27 degrees is boiling hot over here. But I mean, they should be used to that, surely. Come on, come back in, come back in. Go into the cold room, stand next to the fan for a bit, Betty. <laughs> oh, you should be fine. And then Betty chooses to stand outside. A little bit silly, Betty. Come on now. Um, hang on. Nobody's doing anything down here. Uh, Will, hang on, hang on. What's your charisma, Will? Five. Okay, you need another charisma point, and then you can have that skill, which means we don't get attacked by other factions. So you go and have that. And speaking of other factions, Betty, where are you? Um, can you get on the old radio and just see what um what Los Muertos want? Because I can't recall. So jobs. Okay, so, oh yeah, that was it. Nails and chains. Yeah, we were struggling to make chains, weren't we? Although it's only five chains. Nails, I think we can make. It's the chains that were the problem. And um, a rescue operation to liberate a captured member of this faction. Locate them and defeat their captors. Okay, we could have a go at that. I think this one is more likely. So hang on, hang on. What do we need for that? Five nails and five chains. Uh, remind me what we need for that. Hang on, let's go to the right thing. That would help. So five lots of nails. That's just metal shavings. We can do that. But then five chains. Ah, right. That is five sheets of metal. And to make the sheets of metal, we're going to need the metal shavings. Hang on. We can do this. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five. That's five sheets of metal. That's most of our metal shavings gone. And then we need another five metal shavings. Uh, five metal shavings for the nails, I think it was. So that should... Hang on, hang on. Betty, go and do that. I think that should work. I think that should work. Right, go and get yourself a drink first, Betty. That's fine. You've got to have a bit of tea before you do this sort of extreme crafting stuff. So here we go. Betty's fixed loads of stuff. Oh, crikey. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Ron, up you go. Give that a bit of water and also go and harvest that thing as well, Ron, if you would be so kind. Okay. So now, hang on a second, Betty, pop over to, no, that's the wrong thing. Go to here, contact faction, Los Muertos, job. Um, we have ah, nine nails. Okay, so we need one more. We need one more of those. Okay, so we need to get one more set of nails sorted, uh, which I think we should be able to do. Did we have enough stuff for that? Yes, we have got enough for that. And then we need to make five chains. So one, two, three, four, and five. So Betty, you get on with that. And I think we can then turn that mission in with them. 
then that means we get a little bit more reputation with them, which is wonderful. So yeah, okay, contact them again. They're gonna be going, what? <laughs> We're still a bit busy. What do you want, tea people? And there we go. Emergency resources, we now have that stuff. I think this is worth doing. So yeah, okay, accept that job and yeah, okay, we're here, got the stuff ready. Yes, absolutely, we're organised like that. And it's not a trap, don't you worry. We're not that stupid. You're not the church anyway. You, you guys are sort of okay. We're all right with you guys. It's the church we don't like. Also, speaking of the church, let's have a quick look at the map. Um, ooh, tracked jobs. Oh, okay, this is the task that we've just got. Okay, no, that's fine. Um, yeah, down here, I think... We can take this. I think we can take this away from the church. It's only a difficulty level of one. I think if we get enough people ready and go along to here and have a bit of a fight, I think we can you know, we can take this away from the church to diminish their power even further and just, you know, really, really hit them where it hurts, I think, to take more of their land away. So I think, have we got people ready to go out right now? So Betty can go fighting. Hang on, how's Will? Oh, Will is definitely not ready to go fighting. Will is not prepared. Sharon is not prepared. Chris is not prepared. Okay, right. Hang on a minute. Yeah, and Ronald and uh, Barbara are not going to go out fighting. So let's make sure everybody else is sort of ready. Um, oh, yeah, we told Will to go and read a book, didn't we? Uh, okay, do you know what? Get that sorted. Get that um, Get that skill point up. I don't quite know why it says he's in the dark. <laughs> there's, there's a literal light above your head, Will. There's a light right there. Just walk under the light if it's a bit dark over there. Um, that's a little bit silly, isn't it? But uh, never mind. Um, also, hang on. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Ron, when you've done that, go and clean the shelter. Because I don't think you did that before in your rite of passage. I think the shelter was nice and clean, wasn't it? So here we go. We're going to get some more meat, which is wonderful. We have so much meat right now. That's splendid. And then you go and you know, give the place a clean. And then, Will, when this is done... Oh, you're really pongy, Will. <laughs> um... Do you know what? That's going to take a long time to get Will. Look at look how slow that's going up. That is taking an awfully long time. Okay, hang on. Medium dust storm. End of week report. Uh, oh no, look. It's sunny. And it's sunny. It's 38 degrees C in a couple of days time. Okay. Right. Okay. Water is going to be critical. Um, end of week report. Let's have a quick look. Los Muertos are okay with us. Have they sent anyone round yet? Have they sent anybody to us? The church really don't like us. And, um, okay, events. Hang on, what events are happening? Outpost strengthened. That's the new order. We haven't met them still. Um, expected reinforcements failed to arrive at an outpost belonging to the CTK mob. Okay, that's interesting. So the CTK mob are a bit weak. Uh, the Church of Hope is attacking an outpost belonging to the old clan. Oh, we are getting information about other groups. So the Church of Hope are attacking other people. Boo, Church of Hope. And some animals are coming in so we get more results if we go hunting. Okay, we're not going to do that anytime soon. The person hasn't turned up yet, have they? For their goods. They're not at the thing. No, they're not at the intercom. Oh, okay, that's fine. Right, Will. Will, we need to go and do this kind of fighting thing. Or we need to go and get some water. I think, right, let's go and do the fighting thing now because we can probably muddle through with that, although it is going out into a sandstorm, which doesn't sound very appealing. I think maybe let's keep everybody indoors while the sandstorm is going on, because that's not going to be good for their health, is it? Maybe we just keep people levelling up and pottering around and all that kind of stuff. Right, Will, though, you do need to go and have a shower, my good sir. <laughs> I know somebody else is in there right now, but you need a bit of a wash. Um, and who can go and do some strength training? I mean, Betty? Can you go and do that? Yes, you can. Right, Betty, you go and do some exercise. And who's on the treadmill there? Christopher's doing some cardio stuff. And Will is doing some brainy stuff. Or he would be if he wasn't then going to go and jump in the shower very quickly. Of course, having a shower uses up water. Oh, my goodness me. Right, okay. Sorting out one of his needs. That's fine. Getting a cup of tea. Look, it looks like a cup. Uh, right, and then have a shower. And then pop over here and just have some lovely, lovely food. How about just some regular stew? That will do the job. So you have that, or whatever that was, soup possibly. So that will sort Will out. That'll keep him nice and happy. Uh, okay, yeah, I think, I think we just keep everybody indoors until the sandstorm is done. And then we might have to go to the, um, go to the water thing, spend some time there to bring some water back, 
and then go and have a fight with the church, possibly, if we can sort of arrange all that kind of stuff. And can we get somebody... And Barbara does need the loo and a shower. Barbara, go on, go on, nip to the loo. Repair the loo and then go to the loo. There you go. <laughs> You've gone to loo on your own accord. Well done. And um, yeah, give it a repair as well whilst you're there. Barbara has fixed the good toilet. Okay, splendid. Uh, Chris, you're nice and clean. Yep, you can get food. We'll help you with that, my good sir. Have a stew. Oh, and this is very exciting. Some of our plants are ready to harvest. It's the onions. Okay, right. Absolutely. Go and harvest the onions. I know you are going to have to go up onto the surface in this terrible, terrible weather up here. I mean, it's only, what, three, what, four in the morning and there's a sandstorm already. It's very unpleasant, but I do apologise. But here we go. Here we go. So get that done and harvest that. Very good. That is a lot of onions. That is wonderful. How are the carrots looking? Oh, they're so slow. The carrots are so very slow to grow. OK, the tomatoes are looking fine. The carrots look like they might take absolutely ages. Okay, while you're up here, put the onion seeds back in because we might as well. Ah, is that the person from the other faction? Might well be. Okay, hello, hello, Robert. I'm here to collect for Los Muertos. Hand it over now. Where are your manners, Robert? Hand it over now, please. That would be nice. Would it, would it hurt you to say please, Robert? Come on now. Right, okay. Yes, give items. Everything seems to be good here. The boss will like this a lot. Looks like we might be able to trust you after all. Of course you can. Of course you can. Plus 30 reputation again. Ah, hang on. Negotiator, increase the reputation gained when completing a faction job. Oh, that's very, very good. Okay, hang on. Contact them again. What are the jobs do you have? Just the go and save one of their people job. Okay. OK, not quite at that point yet, but, you know, it's it's creeping up. 60 is better than nothing at all. That's pretty good going. OK, so I've given Betty the somewhat unpleasant job of harvesting the snare trap because that can't be pleasant. But we can also go and put some water on those carrots because those carrots are not looking very good. Their health is coming down. Um, yep. Yeah, OK, that's some stuff. Please water these. Betty's got heat exhaustion. Sorry, pour some water on yourself. And how are they looking? Uh, oh, they're ready. They're ready. Okay, I know you've got heat exhaustion, Betty. Come on, just grab some grab some tomatoes. Oh, look at that. That is wonderful. Okay, so the carrots are growing again. The temperature is not ideal. I think that's the problem. They're only growing sort of at the end and at the start of the day when it's a bit cooler. Um, okay, plant some seeds. Let's put down... Uh, I've got no idea. I know some peas. I mean, rice. Ah, hang on. Rice grows in hot temperatures. That would make sense. Do you know what? Pop some rice in, Betty. And then you can come back down. You can come back in, Betty. Don't die from heat exhaustion. <laughs> that would be rubbish. Um, OK, do you know what, actually? Come over here and wash your hands, Betty, because it's nice and cold in there. Oh, you've no longer got heat exhaustion? No. <laughs> Did we just waste a water point on getting her to wash hands when she didn't need to? I'm not entirely sure. And there is somebody at the intercom. There's somebody at the door. Oh, it's Peter. You wouldn't happen to be taking in new recruits at the moment, would you? I'm sorry, Peter. We are, we're full. We're full. There is no room at the bunker, I'm afraid. Um, I can offer myself to your faction in exchange for shelter and food. Oh, and you're actually quite good, Peter. You are actually quite good. You begin with a fortitude of four. I think that might be the highest stat of any potential recruits we've seen. But we've only got sort of your oxygen in the bunker for six people right now unless we upgrade that but of course as well that means we have to provide more water and we're struggling for water right now as it is so i'm really sorry peter i'm really sorry you have an amazing hat and exciting hair and you've got sideburns i mean yeah i'm reserving judgment on whether whether amazing or not but you've got sideburns and that's certainly a thing that is on your face um it's fine it's fine peter it might have to be a no but you know what? You might be able to convince us, Peter, if you tell us all about your love of tea. Oh, well, there we go. The decision has sort of been made. Peter has just told us that he's not really the biggest fan of tea. He prefers a lovely ice cold cola based drink. So alas, Peter, it is not to be. Do you know what, though? I don't think you will have a problem in finding another faction to take you in with stats like that. I think you'll be absolutely fine. So apologies, Peter. It's a no from us right now. But yo, good luck in the future. Good luck out there in the ways. I do apologise. But uh, 
yes, we have to sort of turn you away. And of course, yeah, the whole not being able to breathe thing might have been a problem as well. And there we go. We have ourselves another kind of faction goal thing completed. Animal skinning. It's an unpleasant, horrible one. But there we go. So harvesting traps provides extra resources. That is very good indeed. And yeah, we did just go and sort of wear out that snare trap there. Oh, and now that one's done as well. Hang on a second. Hang on. Uh, Will. Oh, Will's, um, what's Will doing? He's doing some running, but he's going to go on the punch bag in a minute. And um, Betty. Hang on a second. Betty, pop up to here and just harvest that, would you? That would be marvellous. Those onions are fully grown. Those onions. Onions grow so quickly. That is incredible. Okay, a load more meat. We've got some leather out of that as well. That's very good. Right, so harvest those. That's going to be wonderful. How are we looking on the um, on the carrots? 45%. Come along, carrots. <laughs> going to be there forever waiting for them. I want to make some lovely food. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Barbara's... Why is Barbara collapsed? Barbara is too tired to continue. Barbara's just collapsed on the floor. Barbara. Can somebody help Barbara? Ronald, you're right next to her, just walking over her body. Uh, no, Barbara's just sort of collapsed. Maybe the bed's were in use and she couldn't get over to the beds. Oh no, Barbara, hang on, hang on. Check your health. You're feeling okay. You're just sort of sleeping in the doorway. <laughs> People are just stepping over her. Um, okay. She's too tired to continue. What does that exactly mean though, Barbara? I mean, is it, it's not, maybe it was just tiredness. Oh, there you go. She's getting back up. Right, Barbara, have some food. For goodness sake, go and have some actual nice food. There's a stew. There's a stew there. Go and eat that, please, because you need some energy. I feel like you're in peril slightly. There we go. There we go. Much better. And now, Barbara, go and sleep in a bed. I hear the beds are more comfortable than, you know, sleeping on the floor in a doorway where people are going to keep opening the door on your head and such. So there we go. There we go. Right now, how are the sort of uh, the expedition party? Right. OK, Will. Will, Will, Will. You need to nip to the... Hang on. Go to bed first. So sleep and then use the loo. He's going to go out. Sharon is a bit... Oh, all her stats need a little bit of TLC, but I think she'll be fine. Chris needs a shower. Okay, so Chris can have a shower. Ronald can't go out. Oh, Betty needs all sorts of stuff. Oh, crikey. Okay, okay, fine. We're not quite ready to go out yet, but we do need to head out today at some point to get some more water, I think, because water is looking a little bit precarious. So, okay, it's fine. Let's get our sort of expedition team ready to go out for a bit of a wander. Okay, I think we're all ready to go. So Betty's stats are looking pretty good. Barbara's not going. Will's stats are looking amazing. Sharon looks fine. And Christopher looks absolutely fine. So, okay, let us go on a bit of an expedition over to that water thing because we really, really desperately need some water. So here we go. So get Will, get... Uh, who else goes at the front? Chris, and then Betty, and not Barbara, Sharon. So those two at the back. Right, okay, let's kit them out with all the stuff and then we'll send them on their way. Okay, there we go. I think everybody's got what they need. So we've got some extra bullets going on. We've got some bandages and we've got a couple of first aid kits and everybody's got weapons and equipment and all that kind of stuff. So, okie doke, right. Head over to here, please. Head over to the workable reservoir pretty much immediately. And that's all we want you to do. Just stay over there for a bit. However, you might need to have some more rations. So take quite a few more rations. And that's kind of it. That's all we want you to do. Go and get some water, please, because otherwise we might possibly die a bit. So yeah, you lot head out that way, please. That's going to be marvellous. And of course, with only two people actually back in the bunker now, that does mean that we're going to use less water, which is marvellous stuff. So here we go. So who do we have in the bunker? We've got Barbara and Ronald, which is wonderful stuff. Okay, so Barbara has increased her strength. Oh, I bet we've got loads of level ups, haven't we? That I just didn't do for our expedition party. Ah, oh, botherations. Okay, Ronald, you might need to go and possibly water these plants which could be quite bad. Okay, you go and water those, please. Oh, there's a trader. There is a trader. Hang on a second. Let's get Barbara to go and have a chat with them. And okay, they're a fighty sort of a trader. Okay, right, they do have, they do have a three-star pistol. I would be okay with Betty having that. However, what's the difference? What is the difference between that and that? I do not know. I'm not entirely sure. Does it do more damage? It seems to be pretty much exactly the same. Melee accuracy plus zero, because of course you're not doing any sort of hitting with it. Um, range stamina cost two and four. It seems to be exactly the same. I'm not entirely sure what's different. So, okay, we won't invest in that because that seems a bit silly. Uh, pipe bombs, grenades, flashbangs. 
I don't think we're overly interested in any of these things particularly, which is a bit of a shame because I like it with the traders come by, but yeah, we've got nothing really to do with these things. We're sort of okay with weaponry for now. So I do apologize, whoever you are. Who are you, Grace? Sorry, Grace. But uh, but yeah, it's not for us at the minute. Can somebody get up here and water the stuff? Ronald, no punching on the punch bag. These plants are going to die, my good sir. We've been waiting for ages for the rice and the carrots to grow. So if you could make sure they don't die, that would be amazing. Thank you very much. Right, back down here. It looks like you need a shower, Ronald, and then you need to go to bed. But you've decided to just stand there instead. Okay, right. Take a shower and then you go to sleep, Ronald. And Barbara, Barbara, what can you do? Maybe, maybe, Barbara, you could just craft some items. How about, oh, the glue uses water. Okay, how about cement? That's always useful. Make one lot of cement, please. Um, and what else can we make that might be of any use? Um, I mean, some more nails, possibly. Just do some very basic kind of crafting stuff. There we go. I mean, that's better than nothing, I guess. And look at this. Whilst our expedition party are out there working really, really hard at that reservoir thing, I don't know what they're doing, but yeah, they're operating machines. They're running about the place. They're pressing buttons. They're lifting things, moving stuff about. It's all action back at the bunker, isn't it? <laughs> because these two have been asleep for absolutely ages. They're not doing anything at all. So, okay, fine. I mean, it looks like, it looks like Barbara might actually wake up momentarily. But yeah, I mean, it's not overly sort of action-packed right now back at base. Okay, the expedition party needs our attention. That cannot be a good thing. Ah, it's other survivors. Okay, this might not be so bad unless they're a little bit kind of killy. Ah, it, it's Barbara. Okay, it's a different version of Barbara. Okay, uh, ah, don't sneak up on someone like that. I thought you were CTK. Why are you sneaking up on me? We're not. We're not sneaking up on you. We're working here. We own this place now. Um, trade, attack, or flee. We don't want to fight you. We don't want to fight you. So if we could run away, um, if you escape, you'll lose all items gained from working resources. Oh. Can we trade with you? 39% chance of trading. Come on, then. Trading is not what I had in mind. Oh, Barbara. Barbara, Barbara, Barbara. And um, yet she's scared of somebody's mighty muscles, so she's a bit afraid. Uh, okay. Betty. Can we crush? Hang on, hang on. Go to there. Can we please crush her windpipe? Because you're very good at it. So there we go. Already, she's dazed and she's taken some damage. Do you feel like maybe, Barbara, this was a poor choice? You've made a terrible life decision here. Um, do you know what? Do it again. Causes a bit of damage, doesn't it? Oh, we missed that time. Oh, botherations. Okay, never mind. Um, and I think that's it for Betty. So, um, Will. Will, can we... Oh, we can kick. Um, let's kick you in the leg. Let's kick you in the leg. Let's see if we can do any damage to your leg. So, boom. And right, so now Barbara has a broken leg. <laughs> it's not going well for poor Barbara. It's not going well. Okay, right. Now let's see if we can just uh, just melee attack her with the baseball bat. So, boom. Right, okay. Barbara is now regretting her life choices. She's thinking, ah, oh, why didn't I just, you know, walk away? Uh, okay. Can we do anything else? We can't attack again. Any skills? No. Okay. End your turn. Right, Sharon. Um, how are you, Sharon? Uh, you've got you've got a stabby knife. Could we flick sand? No, I, I think this person's already suffered enough. Um, I mean, it's going to be a melee attack, isn't it? And it's a critical. Yep, yeah, she, she's really not well. She's really not well is the other Barbara. Um, okay, is Sharon going to finish this off? Because I don't think she can have a go, can she, Barbara? I don't think she can actually have a turn. Um, let's end Sharon's turn. Yeah, so she's dazed. Other Barbara is dazed. So, no, right, it comes back to Betty. Um, Betty, can you uh, crush their windpipe again? Can you give it a go? No, you've missed again, Betty. Come on, Betty. Come on. 50-50 chance to do this. And now we haven't got the stamina anymore. Okay, you end the turn. Uh, it's come to Will. Will, it looks like it's up to you. With the baseball bat. And boom, critical. And dead. Although, as she died, her fear was cured. Hurrah. Um... Okay, I don't like it when that happens. I don't want to kill these people. I didn't want to kill you, other Barbara, but you left us with very, very little choice. So it's all a bit your fault, really. A little bit silly of you, but there we go. There we go. And our proper Barbara is back at base doing nothing at all. Well done. Very productive, the pair of you. Oh no, I've just realised something incredibly disappointing. That is a bit of a shame. So our cottage pie here is going to be unavailable to us because we do not have fancy two-star meat 
all our meat is, you know, ordinary, basic meat. We haven't got, I don't know, 28 day cured meat or whatever it is. We haven't got any of the two star stuff at all. So even if we grow all those carrots, we're not going to be able to make our lovely cottage pie. And that requires two star meat as well for the chili. And that requires two star meat for the curry. Botherations. Okay, right, so here we go. It looks like, however, we can make quite a lot of meat stew because we have got a load of meat, we've got a massive pile of potatoes, and we've got a lot of broccoli. What's that there? And vegetable stew as well. We could, I don't know, we haven't got any cabbages. We have no cabbages. And these here mostly require water, don't they? Because they are soups. And we don't want to use our water on these things because, you know, our water is quite precious at the moment. So here we go. This is brilliant. So, okay, do you know what? Make 10 lots of that for now. I mean, that's okay. The meat stew is okay. It provides 50 sustenance. What does that provide? 60. Oh, that's 65. The cottage pie. And the curry is 70. The curry is even better. Okay, but right now we're kind of stuck. So, do you know what? This stuff is okay. The stuff is okay. The vegetable stew, slightly less sustenance from that. But okay, we can make 10 lots of this. And then we can come back and make some more, I believe. So, there you go. Barbara, that will keep you busy for a little while, Barbara. You go and do some cooking or some microwaving. I don't quite know how she's doing that. Also, she is making this with slightly grim hands. Ah, Okay, other survivors over here at the reservoir. Please be nice. Please be nice. No, nope. now we have Amanda with green hair who also wants to possibly kill us. Um, okay, can we trade? Trading is not what I had in mind. <sighs> okay, oh, I mean, look at that. They're not scared at least. Right, Betty, here we go again. It's fight time. Use your skill. Crush their windpipe, please. And boop, they are dazed. Okay, right, Betty, we're not going to... Um, we're not going to use your gun because I don't think we should do that. So how about we just go to here? We can't even do melee. We can't do melee. Okay, Betty, end your turn. Um, well, just, just go in with melee. Just go in with simple melee stuff. We'll get this sorted nice and quick. Apart from we can't do any more melee. Can we use our kick attack? No, we can't. Okay, end turn. And you, melee. Go on, Chris. Boom, and there we go. Nice and simple and straightforward. And they were carrying a bit of wood, some seeds, a bit of wood and a rock, and some rubber as well. Marvellous stuff. Okay, yep, yeah, there we go. We'll take all that stuff. These people should just not come to attack us. Because there's four of us and one of them, which seems a bit silly. Ah, and we have finished working the location. Okay, let's collect our rewards. That's not really what I had in mind. <laughs> I was kind of thinking that maybe we'd have more water than that. We sacrifice more water on getting everybody you know, clean enough and such like to come out here and you know do this job. Uh, okay, we'll take all that. Oh, dearie me. Right, we are running low on water. Okay, right, hang on a second. Hang on. Before you come back, pop over to there. Pop over to the uh, to the reservoir tank because there might be something just there. So yeah, you guys just, uh, just nip over there, please, if you would be so kind. Okay, so the expedition party have got to the reservoir tank thingamajig. And okay three more water just there. I mean, it's not brilliant. It's not terrible, but it's not brilliant either. But okay, right, there we go. I mean, is it worth popping into the outpost while we're there? I mean, does that hold any resources now? I have no idea. Um, it doesn't look like it does. It looks like we can just go in because that's kind of ours. I mean, I don't know what happens if we go there. Is it worth having a look what happens? We'll just see what happens. We'll see what happens if we go to an outpost because I actually have no idea. It won't take them that long to get there, I don't think. It's one sort of one square. So, okay, right. We're there. What do we do? Yeah, we're just going to stand here. We don't go in or anything. Um, okay, do you know what? Head back. Head back home. Or do we want to go here? Maybe on the way back, we go and have a fight. Because the longer they're out, the less water we're using. I don't know what they're drinking while they're out and about. I'm not sure. But whatever the case, while they're not in the bunker, they're not using up water. So maybe... Maybe we take the fight to the church over there and defeat them over here, take this forest from them, and that's another region that they do not control. Yeah, do you know what? Why not? On the way back, let's go and have a bit of a fight. Oh no, I think the carrots might die. I think the carrots might die. No, look at that. The temperature has just stabilised. They've just stabilised. No, okay, Barbara, I sent you to water them. You don't need to go and water them. I think it was because the temperature wasn't quite right and they were, they were not dealing with it well. Oh my goodness me, they got down to... Two health. It's creeping up ever so slowly. Oh, hang on. Hang on. The water collector is not looking good. Hang on. Go and repair that. Right. We do have... Oh, botherations. Okay. Tomorrow we have black rain, which is not what we want to see. That's not very good at all. However, 
However, could we potentially upgrade the water purifier to hold some more water? So it can hold some more black rain and then slowly but surely kind of filter it through. So we've got ourselves one bucket and five pipes. Okay, Barbara, can you do that? When you've done all these repairs upon the surface, oh my goodness me, hang on a second, you're gonna need some support. Ronald, get up here please to the surface. Everything is falling apart and it's all looking terrible. So uh, Ronald, yeah, you go and you go and repair some stuff as well, please. And our expedition party need our attention. They're here. They are here. They've encountered members of a faction. Okay, here we go. Our second showdown with the Church of Hope. Right, there are two of them. Um, have What's he holding there? What's that? Is that a baseball bat? Uh, we were not expecting a visitor to the Church of Hope's sacred headquarters. Do you bring hope or despair? Yes, we bought them both. Um, okay, here we go. Let's have a fight. That's what we're here for. Guess you don't like being alive. We quite like it, but you guys won't. Okay, Betty has started her turn. Um, okay, here we go. Let's use an aimed gunshot. Betty, fire, and boom. That is a good chunk of damage right there. And now just a regular single shot, please. Oh my goodness me, Betty. <laughs> this person is almost gone already. Well done, Betty. Okay, right, you end your turn. Okay, so now Will, do you know what? Take this person down. Just, just melee them. Now it says there the melee is most effective when targeting an enemy's head, but they do have a higher chance of avoiding that. Um, do you know what? No, go for their body, because if you hit, they might well go down. Not quite, not quite, but they're not far off, are they? I think if everybody targets this person, then they could go down, and that means that you know there's only one of them against four of us. Um, yeah, let's try that. And the other thing is, Will has used up all his stuff right now. So, okay, we're not going to do that. Okay, Chris. Chris, it's all up to you. Please hit. If you hit, they go down and it's brilliant. Hang on, hang on. Chris, what other things do you have? Poison punch, sleight of hand. Okay, right, yeah. Chris, go in, do a melee attack. Please hit. And dead. Okay, right. Now this is one of them, which should make our life a little bit easier. You can't do any of your skill things, but okay, okay, right. End that turn. And Sharon can use a skill. Flick sand. Oh, this is brilliant. Please hit. Please hit. I don't know where you got the sand from. Right, they now have impaired vision. So they're going to struggle to attack us when they get their turn. And um, yeah, can we do anything else? No, unfortunately not. But there we go. They might be able to get... Yeah, they'll get an attack. Oh, it's a critical. Of course it is. They get a lot of criticals, don't they? Right, so we have somebody bleeding. And another critical. Really? Come on, game. <laughs> it's a bit silly. Um, okay, hang on a minute. Hang on. Somebody was bleeding. Christopher is bleeding. And is that it? Yeah, Christopher is bleeding. Okay, right, hang on a minute. Betty. Betty. Oh, no, hang on. Somebody else could possibly provide the support role because Betty is going to do an aimed gunshot at this person. And she's missed. Betty, you were supposed to aim. There was an aimed gunshot, Betty. Um, where is... Where's Chris? And that's Will. That's Chris. Okay, use an item. Bandages. That will stop him bleeding. So there we go. Just get them out. Sort of throw them out. In. There we go. He's recovered from bleeding. Marvellous stuff. Okay, Betty, your turn is done. Uh, right, Will, go for this person's leg. Let's see if you can kick and break their leg. Come on, come on. You can do this. And there we go. They took damage. The leg did not break, unfortunately. Right, now it's Chris's go. So, okay, let's target their body or do we go for a bit of a risky move and target their head let's target their head come on come on i believe in you ah botherations okay maybe that belief was slightly misplaced um okay we can't do anything else oh yeah we can we could do a poison punch yeah go on let's try and poison you that'd be good and we missed as well we have terrible luck when it comes to the 50 50 hit chance on heads we really really don't have the rub of the green with it right okay try and stab them again it's like three in a row that we've just missed. And have another go. And that's a critical. Stabbed in the face and they're dazed. That means they missed their turn. Oh dear. Do you know what? We'll just melee you. <laughs> I think it might be all over for you. We'll just... But Betty, come on. <laughs> this person is dazed. They're not even doing anything. Ah, oh, fine. You've missed your chance. Um, Will. Yeah, go on. Melee. And there we go. Subdued. And we'll take all of this wonderful stuff. Oh, lots of silver scrap. Gold scrap. Okay, what's that? A chunk of silver nugget stuff. No actual big bars of gold or silver this time. But okay, we will take all of your lovely stuff. Thank you. And now, 
Um, yeah, we haven't got any holding cells, so no, that's absolutely fine. We've gained control of that region, and the Church of Hope really, really fantastically despises us now. But there we go. Another, another thing is now ours, which is wonderful. Um, and there we go. Right, let's change the route. Let's get them coming back home. Well done. They can come home all victorious. Okay, they're nearly home, but they bumped into some survivors. Okie doke. Right, let's hope they're nice. Encounter in the desert. Please be nice. Why do we keep happening across horrible people? Um, okay, would you like to... Hang on, we could run away because we're not going to lose resources. So let's try and run away. And have we done it? Yay, there we go. We haven't had to murder an innocent person that we've happened across. Marvellous stuff. <laughs> I prefer that. I like it when we don't have to kill people that we don't really need to kill. And look at that. Our plants are struggling. I don't think the rice and the carrots are going to survive. Yeah, the carrots are going to die. Look, it's not the right temperature for them. It's terrible. And the carrots are, I think, dead. Yeah, they've gone. Um, an expedition party needs attention. I think that might have been delayed. Right. Take all of that stuff. That is some very good stuff. And very importantly, because water is looking really quite fabulously low. Um, let's... Hang on. Hang on. First things first. Have we got anything to put into the recycler? What if we put that in? Gold scrap. Okay, not that. Um, what can we put in? I don't like that. That nailed wood thing can go away. That's quite horrible. Um, and we can get rid of probably a couple of those one-star knuckle duster things. Um, oh, these are the slightly better ones. Hang on. They're, oh, no, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Yeah, let's get rid of all of those ones. All of the sort of pointy knuckle duster ones, they can all go. I think that might be it, but that is a lot of lovely metal shavings that we can have and they come in useful for doing other stuff. So yeah, okay, recycler do that. And then very importantly, open storage. Okay, where is, where is the water? Uh, it's down here. Okay, so um, add all to supply, add all to supply. And then we should have some horrible water as well. Add all of that to the supply. And that means that that is now working on uh, five lots of contaminated water. Um, however, however, I think to uh, finish things off today, I think, yeah, let's get four pipes and a bucket made. Let's get Barbara to make four pipes and a bucket. So bucket is two sheets of metal. Oh my goodness me. And then four pipes is, ah, hang on. We can't do it yet. We need to wait for the, um, the recycler to finish. We need to wait for that to do its thing. It's only going to be... It's not even an hour now. It's not even an hour. So, oh, hang on. There's somebody at the intercom. Hello, Michelle. Um, I'm not much to look at. You're gorgeous, Michelle. Look at you. You're absolutely splendid. Don't say that. Um, but my loyalty is beyond question. Let me join you and I'll prove it. Oh, you're really good as well, Michelle. I'm really sorry, Michelle, but we have no room at the moment. Um, well, we sort of do, but you'd probably suffocate or like die of thirst or whatever. Um, so I'm afraid it's going to be a no. But um, before you leave, before you leave, Michelle, would you like some tea? Okay, it turns out Michelle is more of a coffee person. So I guess, you know, that kind of made the decision for us. It is a bit of a shame because her stats are very good. But alas, Michelle, farewell. Good luck in your future ventures. But yes, alas, you will not be joining us. Sorry. Okay, so the recycler is done, which is wonderful. So collect all of those things, which includes the metal shavings. And now I think, did we craft one pipe? Hang on a minute, hang on. No, it's there, isn't it? Um, upgrade that. So, uh... Oh, hang on. Has she not done it yet? Oh, no, she's she's in bed. She's in bed. Right, okay, hang on a minute. Hang on. Go and do this first. So a bit of crafting. Okay. So now that means that we now need three pipes. And that is it. So, okay, quickly get this done. One, two, three pipes, please. Because I want that upgraded before the black rain comes. Actually, is it coming down now? Is that rain? No, it's not. Okay, good stuff. And then upgrade this so we can now hold an extra 25% contaminated water. So what are we on now? It can hold 15. So I can't work out what that is, but we'll see what happens. So 15 up to, once we've hit it enough times, 15 up to 18.75. Okay, not exactly what I was expecting. I thought maybe it might go to a nice even number, but clearly not. But there we go. So when it does rain today, when we get black rain at some point, and then proper rain tomorrow, hooray, um, we can at least get a little bit of that through the water purifier we can get another 18.75 units of rain through and they can turn into lovely water, which we can then turn into, of course, lovely tea. But I think with that done, we will finish things up for now. We've taken another, another region from the church. The church are very slowly and very surely being removed from the map. So they're down here. Now, what's that there? 
That is, yeah, that's a difficulty level of three. That might be quite tricky. That might be very difficult for us to get our hands on right now. Although, to be fair, the difficulty level ones we've done really well with. We've not really sort of struggled too much, but difficulty level three, I don't know what they've got. Maybe they've got more people or they've got machine guns or whatever. I do not know. So maybe we need to be slightly better prepared and then come back when we've got, I don't know, maybe some armor. Maybe everybody could wear you know, sort of stab proof vest, bulletproof vest, whatever. And then maybe try and get people using some half decent guns, like a shotgun or something. That might also help. But yeah, the church are certainly very, very much weaker than they once were. Our water situation is not brilliant, but hopefully today and tomorrow that might be looking slightly better. It might be looking slightly improved, if not perfect. And um, and then yes, we'll try and do some more missions for our sort of our sort of uh, Los Muertos faction buddies as well, just to see if we can actually get into their good books a bit, because that would be quite nice as well. But I think we will have a look at doing all that kind of stuff next time out, because we will finish up for the moment. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you are not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Sheltered 2. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Charlotte was murdered by Martin. Do we need to arrest Martin? Aaron was murdered by Martin. The mighty defense rectangle has been completed. We've crashed into a ship over there. Hello, pirates. They're just firing bits of explosive junk. It's killing quite a lot of pirates. Connor was strangled by Martin. Somebody stop him. I'd love to stop him.